what's up guys let's discover html nested lists i'm marian and you're watching code up where everyone can code Okay, so if we click on steps, we get a message that the file doesn't exist. So let's create that file, steps.html. And if we refresh, we can see that now it's blank. So in this file, all we want to do is we create the same layout with the table structure that we did for table HTML. So let's start with dot type. And then followed by head, which, well, HTML, which contains the head and the body. And in the head, we have a title. And I press start to autocomplete steps and the meta description. And content is steps to manage our website. Okay, and inside the body we have a table that has in turn a TR which holds two TDs. So table TR TD and this TD has an attribute of BG color. And then at the end we press tab. Let's undo for a moment and we say times two. Okay, so now we have a table with a TR and two TDs with BG color gold and light sky blue. This one also has a V line top. And the width of 25%. And inside it, we have an H2 and an unordered list with three LI items and which end in A tags, href, and the H tag has the href attribute which is equal to. Uh, let's put $.html This dollar will be replaced by 1, 2, 3 as the first, the second and the third item and that should be it for the moment Okay So all we need to do now is type menu Steps Basic and Table and over here we have steps HTML basic and HTML table if we save it we have our menu over here and the content is still not done so let's take care of that now the align top and our content, let's start with an h1 tag, steps, and let's do a p tag to uh, provide a description. This is where we record our steps to manage our website. Okay, so we've talked a bit about nested lists. So let's see them in action. We'll create a list which holds an li item, which in turn holds an h2 tag and an order list with, let's say, four li items. Okay. So we've created an unorder list with one list item. Inside it, we say steps of HTML. Okay, and then we have an ordered list 
and the first step was to create steps.html the second step was to create recreate the html table structure The third step was to recreate the menu and the fourth step was to fill in some content. In our case it's the nested list. Okay, let's save this one and refresh. One more thing which I forgot was to add to this table a width of 100%. Let's save it, refresh our page, and we can see that the table spans for the entire page width. In the next lesson, we'll start recreating pages from W3 schools one by one by repeating exactly the same process. So I'll see you in the next lesson.